Okay, uh, time to go up to the uh, muffler shop. This thing's gonna be really, really, really loud. But knowing my camera, it's not gonna sound much louder. It's gonna sound a lot deeper. Um, probably a lot throatier. And it's got Darth Vader riding it. Uh, it's got no muffler on it. Just seriously, the muffler's right there. But uh, y'all probably won't be able to reap the full benefits. Oh well, your problem. I've got to ride a number of errands today too. So uh, this should be interesting. I am definitely wearing earplugs right now. But uh, anyway. God, that thing's running rich like that. I can smell it. I had... Somebody wanted me to talk about clutchless shifting. I don't really do it too much because I don't need to. I think the only time you need to is when you're good on the track and you need that extra tenth or maybe even quarter of a second a lap. Um, really, it's, it's pretty simple. All you do is roll off the gas a little bit. You Well, you pre-weight the shifter and you roll off the gas enough for it to change gears when uh, everything slackens up. It is not good for the transmission. It's not as bad for the transmission if you're going slow or if there's no weight on the... Like, it's just kind of cruising along. No... No hand, right? But that's really bad for it. Uh, your clutch is there for a reason. You should use it. But if that's what you want to do, it's what you want to do, you know. Um, just roll off a little bit. Um, it changes gears pretty easily. In fact, last night going to work, I had my foot resting on the shifter so I could uh, change gears coming up to a stop sign. And I hadn't even touched the clutch. I wasn't even on the brakes. I just let off the gas and it changed once or twice. And I was like, wow, okay. Really glad it's like noon. <laughs> this is all uh, riding without a muffler is probably bad for the bike too. By the way, um, especially when it's not tuned for it, it's it's going to be down probably seven or eight, maybe ten horsepower. But whatever, sounds badass, pisses everybody off. Um, but anyway, yeah, that's clutchless shifting in a nutshell. See, there's one right there. You just it's just timing and, and finesse. You know, it's like a normal shift, just no clutch. It, it, and a little bit more damage to the transmission but uh really you kind of get used to it and uh that's that now i i've had several people have asked for requests and all that and if you've done if you've asked me to do something and i haven't done it uh let me know and i will get around to it as soon as i can uh, life's been kind of hectic the last couple of weeks, so I don't always get to go out and ride when I want to, but uh, that's life, you know, what can, I, what can you say? Um, this weekend is Memorial Weekend, which is pretty much the busiest weekend of the year for uh, river companies, which I more or less work for a river company, and the other night guard. Uh, took the weekend off somehow for some reason so they asked me if I wanted to cover his shifts and without really thinking about it I was like yeah sure I could use the extra money and then I realized that means I'm going to be working 12 freaking days straight with no time off it'll give me about 15 hours overtime maybe 16 but I kind of doubt it so that'll be good but damn <laughs> two weeks without a day off is a bitch Especially working nights. I, you know, I don't really get to go do anything this weekend. Oh well. God, that could... That sounds like a combination of badass and awful. <laughs> and I've already gotten like three looks. Oh well. I don't really care. It's probably blowing fireballs all over my feet too. Uh, what else is there? kind of cute, but she's on the phone. <laughs> I really could have gotten her pissed. I w 
wish that what I was doing right now was legal. If I could make it sound like this all the time, I might. <laughs> uh, without damaging the motor and all that, I might actually do it. I just, well, it's not legal, you know? And it's actually borderline annoying because even though I've got earplugs on, um, it's still the dominant sound. <laughs> And I guarantee you the guy in that avalanche right there knows my ass is here. He heard that bitch backfire. Ah, uh, shit. I think I had something else I wanted to talk about. I don't really remember. <laughs> I'm having too much fun. Come on, dude. Oh, you're turning. by that fence right there it kind of gives you the reverb from the exhaust and uh, with this thing running the way it is right now it really does sound like a goddamn NASCAR going down the street God, I need to keep my heel out from in front of the gas I can actually feel the exhaust on the back of my boot heel sometimes which that shit's hot by the way and every time you hear it pop there's a little flame comes out and uh I like my boots. I don't want to set them on fire. I'd rather not deal with all that. Yeah, I'm here, buddy. It'll be really interesting to see how this comes out on camera. Um, you'll probably be able to hear it a lot more clearly than I can, because it's just so damn loud that it kind of overpowers everything. Oh, hello, nurse. Even though I've got earplugs in, she really is cute. Uh, if I didn't have earplugs in, my ears would be ringing by now. Last time I had to do this, they rang for a while. 